Hello, all of my beautiful freaking subscribers. Y'all are awesome. Um, today we did this glitter cut crease. It's actually a half cut crease with a poppin' pink lip. I know it doesn't match my shirt, don't remind me. But um, today, like I said, we did this look and I am in love with it. And if you like it too, and if you wanna see how I did it, then just keep watching. <laughs> So the first thing that I'm going to do is my brows, duh. I always do my eyebrows first. So I'm gonna use the Moodstruck Brow Obsession Palette from Unique. She has been used a lot. And I'm gonna go in with the brand new Spoolie Brow Artist Brush from Unique. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So it just has the spoolie at the end and then of course the brow end. So first thing we're going to do is jump right into this side right here which is the wax and I'm actually going to spoolie out my brows first actually. Just kidding. I hate my brows y'all especially this one because it has like a scar right there so she's complicated. But I'm going to go in first with the wax just like that and carve or I mean trace, not carve, trace around my brow with this wax so that way the powder can have something to stick to. My lips are burning right now y'all. I will show y'all the lip plumper I'm using right now. It's really good. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with this right here. This is the number one, so it goes one, two, three, four. I'm going to use the number one because it is the lighter blonde. This is the blonde palette. And just trace. So before I forget, I'm going to tell you all the lip plump. It's the Sexy Mother Pucker XL Extreme Plump. And it looks like that. And my lips are burning right now. Like, it's doing its job very well. Okay, so there's the first brow. I'm sure y'all are sick and tired of watching this, so I will be right back. Okay, so the brows are done. This one is darker, I know. It always looks like that, but it's really not. I'm gonna go in with the AOA Studio Brow um, Gel. It had a name on it, but I rubbed it off. It's in the shade Taupe, and it just looks like this. Um, and that's what I'm going to use to kind of brush through my brows and then we will carve them out. Okay, so now I have that um, gel all in. I'm gonna go in with the AOA Studio Wonder Cover HD Concealer in Classic Ivory. Looks like that. This concealer is super thick and it's honestly not that bad. It kind of creases if you use it as under eye concealer, so I just use it as concealer to carve out my brows. I don't use it um, down here or to highlight. That's the word I'm looking for, broke. To highlight. So now I'm gonna take this brush. This is a Luxie 245 Small Shader, and we're gonna use that to carve out my brows. So I'm just going to coat, I put the concealer on the back of my hand. Duh. And we're just going to start carving these out. So I really like to carve out my brows because it just honestly just makes them look so much better. It like really does help. If you have trouble with your brows, I highly recommend doing this because I promise it'll help. Normally I don't um, carve out the top because I don't like having that white line, but we're just going to blend it in really good and I'm going to do that today. Just for the sake of y'all. 
Normally I don't though. I carve them out. I carve out the top with my foundation. So it doesn't leave that white. You'll know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to explain. Okay. So then we're going to do the other side. I'm shaking. But now that the longest part is done, that's always the hardest and longest part for me because my brows are awful. Like this brow, amazing. She is so good. This one, awful. But like I said, it's because of that stupid scar. So to actually prime my lids, we are going to go in with the Unique Skin Perfecting Concealer. This concealer is so thick and it is so full coverage. I love it. I'm using the shade Organza. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and we're, I need a little more than that. And we're going to use this to prime like I just said. So we're just going to put some on this brush, same brush that we used to carve and just pack this all over the lid. So now to set um, my concealer so it doesn't crease, I'm going to go in with the Unique Mineral Touch Pressed Powder Foundation. This is full coverage. It's in the shade Chiffon. And we're just going to pack this onto our lids so that way they don't crease. Okay, so before we jump into the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face because it's so freaking dry. So I'm going to use this Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin. It is a moisturizer. I got it from um, Ipsy. So it's just a sample size, but it is so good and it smells like straight oranges. So we're just going to take So now we are going to jump into these eyes. So I'm going to use the 25 palette. I finally filled it up. Um, this is from Unique. And we're going to go in with this shade right here first, which is called Nimble. Most days I start with this shade for a transition shade because it is just all around perfect. So we're just going to pop this into our crease. So now that that is nice and blended out, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Sorry, I had to look. And um, this shade is called non cynical and we're just going to focus this on the outer V because now we're going to start deepening up that outer V. Now that we have that color nicely blended in, I'm going to go in with an even darker shade just to deepen it up some more. So I'm going to go in with the shade right next to it called Marvelous. By the way, this is a Baby Leon um, brush. I got it off eBay. Now that this is nice and blended to my liking, I'm going to go in with the Unique Concealer. Again, I still have some on my hand. And just a flat brush. This is from Wet n Wild. It's really fat and skinny. It's really flat and skinny, sorry. And um, you're just going, I said fat. I said fat and skinny. In and just start cutting the crease. And yeah. We're just going to do a half cut crease. Look. 
so cute. So oh, now I have the crease all cut and I went ahead and blended out that line with the marvelous color again. Go in with this gold glitter. She is beautiful and we're just going to pop it right on there and I'm going to use the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. It's way better than the um, squeeze out tube, I guess. So I'm just going to first apply this and all you want to do is just do it in sections. So just put a little bit see how I just put a little bit in the front so then you want to start in the front like that and then I'm gonna open the glitter try not to get it everywhere and take that Luxie brush again and pick up some glitter and just put it right over the glue This is so pretty. Okay, and so then you go back to the glue. And put it where you want it. This is honestly the easiest thing ever. I say that now and I'll watch, I'm gonna jack it up. Just kidding. Right where you put the glue, once again. Like, woo! <gasps> that is so pretty! Uh. Okay, so then go back to the glue. Oh, is she cute? Okay, so I'm gonna close this glitter before I get it everywhere. And I'm gonna go back to that Marvelous shade with my unique crease brush. So the Marvelous shade is this girl right here. And we're just going to blend that into the glitter. Okay, so this is the finished look. Thanks for watching. Totally kidding. Um, but we just finished this eye. I don't know why I pointed to this eye. We just finished this eye. So now I'm gonna go in with the Unique Moodstruck Epic Mascara. And I'm just gonna do a thin coat on my lashes because we're gonna put on my lashes. So there's the lashes. This mascara is actually really freaking good. Um, it just, I want that more of a voom because I have glitter on my eyelids. So I'm going to go in with the new lashes that I just got. Um, they are by Paris Hilton. And we're going to try to use some of them today. I got them at five and below if anyone is interested. Um, but yeah, it's five sets. And I think I'm going to use the, I think I'm going to use this set. Y'all can't even see them. What the hey am I doing? Okay. I'm going to show you. Ow. So this is what she looks like. Um, obviously, I have to cut because these are longer than freaking you know what. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you. Girl. Why are you bugging? These are so fake. It's so ridiculous. They're faker than your personality. Okay. 
I just want to get a glimpse of what they're going to look like. Okay, the inner corner sucks donkey balls. So we're just going to, I'll throw them on. We'll just do it. Okay, the lashes are on and these were a pain in the... I couldn't even put on the lashes I wanted. So remember I said I wanted these? Yeah, no, I jacked them up. <laughs> So I had to go with the bottom lashes and these things are heavy and they're not even like that voluminous and this one's fudged up so don't look at it. So for our face we are going to go ahead and prime first and I'm going to use the Unique Touch Glorious Primer. This primer is the bomb.com. Girl, I love it. I've almost used all of it so I need to order some more but it is so good and it's like a silicone. And it's so good. So we're just going to rub this all in. It basically, I keep saying it's so good. Like what makes it good? Duh. Okay. So it is going to fill in those fine lines, those wrinkles, and those pores. Which means you are going to look flawless. Okay? So after you put your foundation on, it's not going to fill into your pores and fine lines. It's going to sit on top of it like it should be. Because you never want your foundation to go into your pores because that's how you get acne. And that's how you look. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? There's, I, there's not really a name for it, but you know the look I'm talking about. When you look at someone and you can see their foundation, like, in their pores. This prevents that, girl. It's so good. Ugh. Okay, so we got it all nice and rib. Okay, so we are going to go in with the Unique mineral touch foundation i already have it on the back of my hand i'm in the shade chiffon and we're just going to blend this in i'm gonna throw my hair back so we don't get makeup in it but we're just going to start blending this in i already put it on the blender as well this foundation is super lightweight and really really good coverage so if that's what you're looking for then you need this one I love the, um, what's it called? Uh, Kat Von D. Yeah, the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. That one is so good. I don't have any more of that right now, though, so. We're going back to the Unique, which I'm perfectly fine with this one, too, because I love how lightweight it is. The Kat Von D is super freaking heavy. So, if you are not for heavy foundations definitely don't want that one sorry if my voice sounded a little weird yeah you definitely don't want that one though okay as you can see our concealer is on and I'm gonna go in with these two I mixed in a little bit of the white because this one's too peachy for me so I wanted to make it a little more cool tone so we're just going to blend this in Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of baking just to, sorry, it's kind of creasing. This concealer creases really bad. We're going to go in with the Unique Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. This has zero, and I mean zero, flashback. So if that's what you need, girl, let me know. So I'm just going to take this brush, tap off excess, and... Okay, I went ahead and used the Behold setting powder to set the rest of my face, so we are full matte. And I'm going to go in with this big ol' fan brush and the Unique Touch Behold um, Beachfront Bronzer. And we're going to contour. Okay, so I went in with a little more translucent powder just to carve out my bronzer and just to set really good in here because I get super, super oily. So if you get oily there, girl, bake it. Just bake it. So I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and just go ahead and dust this all away just so we have a flawless base. 
she looks cute. I used the Unique Touch Behold setting powder to um, bake. Per usual. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and do blush, and I, no, I'm not gonna use that. Just kidding, just kidding. I'm gonna go in with the Moodstruck Minerals Pressed Blusher in the shade Sweet, because we're feeling sweet today. It's just a gorgeous, perfect pink, so I feel like this blush is perfect for all skin colors, skin shades, skin tones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to put a little bit of this on. Nothing too crazy. Just to give us back some color. I love it. It's so pretty. So I seem to have misplaced my Behold setting spray. So I'm going to go in with some unique royalty rose water so my skin can feel like royalty um but this works just as good as setting spray so i'm going to set and then i'm going to go in and do highlighter we're going to go out with the bang for highlighter i'm going to go in with this shade right here it is an eyeshadow but it can also be used as a highlighter that's what i love about these shadows it is called optimistic and we're just going to pack her on Okay. So now the last step for this look, I'm going to go in with a lip. This is from Indian Flow in the shade Retro. And I just want just a pretty pink for this look. So we're just going to pop this right on. Okay, here she is. I really like this lip color. It doesn't really match my shirt, but it goes with my eyes really well, so. All right, y'all. So this is the finished glam. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe before you leave. There's something in my eye. Cute video, right? Seriously, there's probably a piece of glitter in my eye, but whatever. Um, but if you have any questions about this look or anything like that, just drop some comments below and give me some love. Um, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.